State of emergency, shelter in place. The story of the coronavirus changes cases continue to rise around the country. The there are there certain there was areas with large cluster of unexplained pneumonia in Louisiana started. And more so we are currently going through some hard times right now. COVID-19 is surely taking a toll on the world right now. A lot of people are getting sick and people aren't afraid to step outside, which is understandable, but what could you do to make this better? Times like this are tough. We have people all over the world trying to find a cure for this plague, but really, we don't really have much. All we can do is just keep our heads up. But for all those who work out and of course for everyone in the world, this is a serious thing. You can really get hurt, and people are working hard every single day to avoid and to fix the problem. Sometimes working out isn't all that. It's more important to stay safe and not get sick from this, because it could lead to some serious things. Especially considering that most things and events were closed, a lot of schools are closed, a lot of stores are closed, and all you can really do is just stay home. I mean. Really, it's not a fun thing for any of us, but we have to do it. Unless you want to be tested and vaccined and in the hospital, which I really doubt anyone wants to. A lot of grocery stores are lacking foods and items that we need, and it's a real bummer for those people who actually need it and don't just need it because they want it, you know? But if you're one of those persons that work out, then this is really affecting you. And it really shouldn't matter right now because it's more of a epidemic, as you may know. So really the more important thing is that you're safe and not sick. So make sure you stay inside. But if you do care enough to go out there and get food in order to maintain your body and shape, just don't try going to gyms first of all. Most of them are closed either ways. But how about if you need your nutrition, then what do you do? Well, then that's the part where it gets kind of hard. You gotta maintain your body, but clearly you need to find different ways, especially since most things are gone. Gyms right now are closed, so more than likely, if you're like most people, you don't really have gym equipment at your house. So you need to find alternative ways. Don't try running outside, don't go to a park. Spend your time indoors and find a way to make it work. Because as you may know, the world isn't looking too good right now. But rest assured, things will get better. Things will change. You just need to stay positive. But with that being said, let's talk about some ways that, you know, you could stay indoors and still maintain a healthy lifestyle without going outside. So for most of us that work out, this COVID-19 disease is really taking a toll on us, especially considering all the gyms are closed, every nutrition store for the most part is closed, and most of the grocery stores have little to no items that we really need. So some things that we really want to think about is what can you really do to keep your muscle and how to maintain a fit body so clearly you're gonna have to work out some way if that means just doing push-ups and that's all you got that's all you got but really you just gotta use your imagination fitness is all about creativity so if there's a will there's a way for example there's a ton of youtube videos online showing you how to do at-home workouts with no equipment of course, the basic ones are just running, push-ups, sit-ups, little things like that. But you could find a better way and a way to get that workout in with zero equipment. For example, you could do dips on your couch. You could do dips on a chair. You could lay your feet on the couch. Maybe you don't want to get your couch dirty, so place a rag on there, whatever it might be. But put your feet on the couch and do push-ups like that. That'll make it slightly harder. Not only that, you should be working on improving those weak points of yourself. For example, if you don't have good ab definition, maybe this is a way to teach you, hey, I don't have to go to fast food because it's dangerous outside, so I'll make at-home meals. Not only that, you could actually spend time to run, maybe inside your house, just run in place if that's all you could do. Of course, eat healthier, which is going to be probably the best solution to gain abs, and of course, hitting ab workouts. Really, the only reason you should be gaining weight or losing your muscle is because you're not finding the will to work out, or the will to, of course, eat healthy. Of course, if you just sit at home, just sitting all day long will affect your fitness and your overall physique. So I would probably say try to move around because it can be really easy to sit down and sit there watching Netflix all day. Another good way to actually gain muscle is of course to eat healthy. You know, you gotta get your vegetables, your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. A healthy diet will take you a far 
and long place into your fitness journey. So if you're eating healthy, it's going to be an awesome help to you. Now, I know a lot of y'all are like, well, my grocery stores are closed or a lot of my food that I actually buy is missing. Well, in this case, this is where you're going to have to change it up a bit. For example, if all you ate was ribeyes and steaks and now the meat market is closed or there's hardly any meats, then, then you're going to have to change it up a bit. If that means buying a cheaper meat. As long as you're getting your protein, that's all really that matters. If it means that you have to buy frozen foods, which yes, I know I'm not a big fan of frozen foods. I don't like it. I think they taste not as great, of course, and they add so many and so many other things to the food that just doesn't really catch my attention. And especially considering that it's frozen, it just doesn't taste as good. That's my main concern, obviously, especially for some vegetables and fruits. They actually lose some nutrition when it's frozen due to the processing. So if that's what you have and that's all you could get, then I would just say go for it. If that's all you really could eat, it's better than nothing. Not only that, you could also get canned food. I know canned food isn't the great, isn't that awesome really. Especially don't get canned chicken, just don't. Unless it's chopped canned chicken, that one's slightly good, but it still tastes like cat food. But if that's all you got, you gotta deal with it. One of my best and favorite canned foods are, of course, tuna. Tuna is great. I like it. I like the canned version, especially with olive oil, even though olive oil will add a few more fats in there, but it's okay because you're probably not going to be eating very much fast food. And if you're like most people, most people don't really eat very healthy. So that'll make the tuna taste slightly better if you're not into tuna. Now gyms, yes, it sucks that all gyms are closed or, or at least where I live, I'm from Texas. Most of the gyms here are closed. Right now, I'm stuck working out outside of my apartment. And let me tell you, if you have an apartment, you know the struggle of working out because you don't really have much, especially if it's a small apartment. You clearly can't be jumping around outside and doing all the things you would want to do in your normal house if you had a house. So that's kind of a bummer for people who have apartments. So I will be making a video on how to do a workout in apartments because most videos now are just at home workouts and they don't consider working out in an apartment, which is way different, trust me. But if you do have an apartment that has a backyard or some things you could do pull-ups in or something, feel free to do it. But before you do, make sure you let the owner know or, or someone that works there know if it's okay because you don't want to break something and then they're going to charge you for it more than likely. Most importantly, guys, during these times, you should work on bettering yourself. If that means taking a rest day, then do it. If you had an injury, for example, like I have shoulder injuries sometimes, I get pinching when I do pull-ups or when I do a push press, make sure to take rest days. This is your time to relax. And that means relaxing for one week, two weeks, three weeks. That's cool, you know, you don't have to work out all your life. You could take a rest day. It's not gonna mean, it's not gonna be the end of the world or anything. You'll gain your muscle fast quick once you go back to the gym. So don't be afraid of taking rest days. Rest days can be good can help you improve your muscle they can also help you by preventing any injuries will it suck not working out yeah probably but it's better than nothing you know just relaxing is actually very beneficial yes I know working out maybe you de stress by working out so if that's the case then maybe yeah go for a workout but if you feel like you could take a rest day then just do it you know it's good for your body you will not lose all your muscle I promise you so supplements, if you have supplements at home, yeah, go ahead and use them, but don't use them just because, you know, you're sitting down on the couch, lazy, not working out, and you're like, I'm going to take a protein shake or creatine because it'll maintain my muscle. Not necessarily. So just, I would say be smart and only use it when you're actually working out. For example, you can see my stuff up there. I'm a bunch of it. So yeah, I'm only using it when I work out. Right now, I went outside a little sweaty because it's freaking hot right now. It's Texas. I'm telling you, and today was freaking hot but I only took the stuff I needed such as a pre-workout and a creatine and a protein shake so yeah so pretty much just try to stay and maintain your shape if that means just doing a 10 minute ab workout every day that's cool you know you're at least moving it's better than just sitting at home because really you shouldn't be going outside and I'm saying because you can get sick and I don't think it's worth the risk I go outside, but only outside my apartment. I'm not near anybody. 
I'm just, it's just like grass and I'm just doing like push-ups and stuff, pull-ups on a bar. That's literally it. But I do not recommend going and running outside in a park, in your public park where there could be people out there and you might get sick, you know? Stay clear of fast foods. Yes, I know some fast food restaurants are still open through the drive through but I would recommend not going. This will also help you maintain you know, a good physique and not gaining weight. Cause if you're just eating fast food and then coming back home and sitting down, you're gonna gain more weight than anything. Above all, just stay to cheap foods, especially through these times where there's no jobs. If you have a job, then that's awesome, you know, congrats. But if you don't like some people, then just try to go cheaper now. Buy cheaper foods, there's great alternatives. You know, you can buy that quarter leg chicken that's like cheap, you can get a bunch of it and you can toss it in the oven and it's great, it tastes awesome, I'm telling you. And it has all the benefits you need. You need, you got your proteins and some fats in there and then just make some rice and you got your carbs. So really, there's no excuse to not being in shape. Yes, these times suck, like I said before, but really, it's just a mental thing. If you can get up off the couch, off your bed, which is yes, I know I'm in an inflatable bed right now, but I did my workout. But if you can get up and work out, then that's awesome. I applaud to you. Like I said, these are the times to work on your weak points. If you feel like your shoulders are weak, you know what to do. If you feel like your triceps are weak, you know what to do. I'm pretty sure you guys know the workouts to do. And if you don't, like I said, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. There's plenty of videos online. And if you feel like, hey, uh, I still need more help. Well, eventually I will be making at home workout videos and stuff like that because there's really not much to film right now. I can't really go outside, film it in a gym. I can't really do many things. So I will be talking about that and I will be changing up my content. So like a little more entertainment than like fitness, but it will still be like a fitness realm. For example, one of my ideas is to do a video on bodybuilders to, that look like gaming characters. So I don't know, just to keep y'all entertained. Anyways guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, please. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.